What's wrong with the Chiefs' offense? There's a lot of frustration going around as the offense works through Kansas City's worst slump since 2017. There's no easy answer or quick solution. And just as this group brought the city its first Super Bowl in 50 years, they're also not above criticism. What this team's core has earned is our respect. It's one thing to call out someone's performance, but Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey deserve better than to have their effort, focus, or care level questioned. Travis Kelsey's had a rough few games, yes, but he's also caught a pass in every single NFL game he's ever played a snap in, playing through injury to never miss a game over eight years. He's on pace for a sixth straight 1,000-yard season. No tight end in NFL history has more than three straight. I promise you, Travis Kelsey's head is in the game. If anything, he's trying to do too much because he cares so much. Patrick Mahomes has easily had the worst stretch and season of his career, but he's also still off to the best career start of any quarterback the game has ever seen. And he did turn in one of the best seasons in NFL history just three years ago. Yes, he shot commercials in March. Yes, he's making a lot of money. But I promise you, the proven competitive fire inside Patrick Mahomes is giving all his effort. Should they be criticized for failing to meet almost unrealistic but understandable expectations? Sure. But I think it's incredibly unfair to call out the care level for a majority of professional athletes, let alone ones who have given the city so much. The Chiefs locker room is made up of professionals. Executing their job is their livelihood, and the majority give every ounce of their blood, sweat, and tears because they understand how short their time may be. And at the end of the day, yes, it's been a disappointing season because regression is real, people make mistakes, and newsflash, playing football at the highest level is really hard. Now, I'm not saying to excuse bad performance, but I do encourage all of us to think critically when evaluating human performance, instead of just taking the lazy way out and calling out a person's effort, focus, or level of care because this Chiefs core deserves better than that. A lot of people on social media say a lot of disrespectful stuff to players, not understanding that we're human too, and we don't go out there trying to not, I mean, trying to make mistakes or not play to our best ability. And, and I think fans get carried away so, sometimes because they be so engaged and they be so used to us winning and dominating all the time. And sometimes they get carried away. Just like a normal person have feelings, just because we're athletes, we have feelings too. And sometimes it get a little bit over the top. You know, some things are, are, are taken out of proportion, something, and we got a lot of emotional players, you know, uh, that, that give us their heart out on this field. And I don't think we, we, try, we try to lose a game either, you know what I mean? So I just say, man, the fans got to be condescending on how they talk to players. I don't normally engage on social media because I feel like the average Joe can't get me out of my, my element. It won't make or break me. But I just be condescending on, you know, how you talk to us. You know, we treat you guys with respect. We just ask for the same thing. It's not like we try not to go out and not give our all every every week for you guys. So, and we appreciate you guys dearly. I love the KC. I love the Kingdom. I love the fans. And we're gonna turn this thing around. Kansas City looks for a third straight win under the primetime lights of Sunday Night Football. Chiefs Raiders kick off in Vegas, set for 7:20. Remember to start your Sunday right here at 10 a.m for our game day pregame show with Danny Welniak and Desmond Moses. Then